month's Flutecast and Flute Newsletter are all about. Uh, I'm playing over a track called Cetacean. It's in my left ear so I can hear it. And uh, I'll use it to walk you through my approach to playing over rhythm. Very simple technique. We'll let you play over this rhythm. And uh, we'll also let you play over a drum circle later on. These are great techniques to practice with so that uh, when the rhythm situation arises, you're ready for it. So, playing over rhythm, uh, a really simple approach for me. Uh, first of all, I just listen to the music. Listen to the music and start moving to it. You won't find a musician who does not move to the rhythm. And as you move to the rhythm, start breathing to it. Breathe. Time with the rhythm. And then go for the flute. You don't need to be fancy when you start, just play long tones. After a while, when you get comfortable with that, you can start getting fancy. You can start including melody, uh, shorter notes. I'll play for a while, and then we'll let you play over this rhythm. Later on, we'll tell you how to download this. It's a six-minute track. It's a great track to get experience with. So, listen. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was the Cetacean backing track. Uh, it was recorded a couple of years ago at Flute Haven. It's on the Flute Haven website. We'll give you a download link uh, at the end to the full six minute backing track. So uh, next up is a drum circle. And this was a special experience. Uh, fortunately, it was recorded. Uh, I was at this fantastic drum circle at a workshop uh, for Music for People. Music for People is an organization that focuses on uh, expressive music making, improvisation uh, across all instruments and uh, across all levels of experience. And this was a workshop on uh, percussion, drumming, led by Mary Kanish. And it's great because she uses people's names to generate different rhythms. And uh, she uses names to generate three-quarter rhythms and four-quarter rhythms. And we don't often play in three-quarter time, so it's really great. You can use people's names to generate a rhythm. You can use uh, pieces of fruit to generate a rhythm. There are all kinds of uh, fruits that have different rhythms to them. So try this um, 
playing over this as if it was a community drum circle. Uh, community drum circles are great. You can take your flute, you can take, especially a high flute, take your flute to a drum circle. Most community uh, music settings, most community drum circles are uh, very open and accepting to other instruments. Take a high flute, and uh, if the facilitator is open to your playing flute, just play over the top. Um, you'll get uh, some real experience playing in a very non-threatening situation. So try it now, grab a flute, and play over these different sections of a drum circle in three-quarter rhythm time and four-quarter rhythm time. Now, who has a three-syllable name? Anybody here? Brianna. So here we go. We'll go back to one, 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 and we'll slow it down. Now look at what happens to our body. So play with that dance. The Brianna dance. Feel that in your body. Whoa. Beautiful. Accentuate the dance so you really take it in physically. Now, the big B. Just play the Brie. But in the air, play your hands. drums that live all around you. Now you've got more space to play with. Here we go. Well, fill the space quietly and keep the big breathe. So we hope you enjoyed playing over the uh, cetacean backing track and the uh, drum circle. Uh, the cetacean backing track is a free backing track thanks to the people who recorded it. It's available on the Flute Haven website. Uh, there's a link. And uh, also the Music for People organization, musicforpeople.org, uh, hosts workshops. They do about uh, four or five workshops every year on uh, expressive music making. So uh, if you'd like to sign up for our newsletter, uh, the monthly newsletter has another side to these techniques we're doing. We have the video, and there's also the newsletter, and they talk about the same subject kind of from different angles. So you can go to nativefluteschool.com. There's a link right at the top to sign up for our newsletter. And of course, there's also a link for our workshops. 
you'd like to join us at one of our workshops, uh, these are the kind of techniques we do at workshops. We have people playing over rhythm. We have people in ensembles playing rhythm with flute. And as always, we hope you can join us. Ooh, maybe we should do outtakes. The cetacean backing frack. Uh, backing frack. Oh. <laughs>